Hi, my name's Byron Udell. I'm the founder and CEO of AccuQuote.com. I'm not sure if you know, but life insurance rates are at an all-time low. You might ask how low? How much lower are they than they were 10 or 15 years ago? The answer is this. Going back to say 1994, a 40-year-old male for a half million dollars of 20-year level term would have paid around $1,000. The lowest rate in the country in January 94 was 995, and that's assuming you could find the lowest rate in the country. Most plans were in the $1,200 range. Today, there are 10 or 15 companies that are under $400 for the exact same thing. However, rates are right now in the process of going back up. And the question is, why? Why are they going back up? And the reason is that interest rates, interest rates are at the, the, essentially at the lowest level I've seen in my lifetime. I can't remember rates being this low. I earned something like 37 cents on my savings account last year in interest. The banks are paying nothing. And the reason is that interest rates are so low. This is great if you are a borrower in the marketplace, if you're redoing your mortgage or if you have a business and you want to get a business loan, interest rates are very low. However, if you're a saver or an investor, low interest rates are not good. In other words, if you have to take premium dollars from customers and invest those dollars so that you can meet the promises down the road when people die and pay those claims, you're going to have to readjust your expectations, which is exactly what life insurance companies have to do right now. This is causing them to have to charge a higher premium to keep the same promise. You might ask, how much are rates going up? Well, the companies that have already made their rate move have raised their rates anywhere from 10 to 20 percent. We don't know whether this is the first wave or whether they're easing into it or whatever. The bottom line is that rates are going up. If someone was, bought a million dollars of coverage today, that would be, say, $1,000. If rates went up 15 percent, that's 150 bucks a year. If they bought a 30-year plan, that's a lot of money. That's $4,500 that you'd save by buying a product today versus waiting until all the companies raise their rates because there are still several companies that haven't gotten around to raising rates. Raising rates is not a simple thing like a merchant going around and just retagging a bunch of cans of corn. Uh, in order to raise rates with life insurance, the products need to be redesigned, they need to be refiled and approved in every state, and this takes some time. So there is a bit of a window of opportunity for you if you're thinking about like buying life insurance or thinking about adding life insurance, now would be a better time than, say, six months from now. Uh, in addition to term life products, other products that are going to be affected by this are universal life, no lapse universal life products. And those are affected both because of low interest rates as well as some new regulation called AG38. Feel free to Google it if you like and do some research on it, but it is a NAIC approved regulation that is changing the way life insurance companies reserve for their long-term guarantees, which is going to cause life insurance companies to have to charge more in order to meet these more stringent guidelines. Um, I want to make something perfectly clear as well. Existing products that are in force are unaffected by these changes. So any products that you currently own, if you have a 20-year term and you're three years into it, those prices will not be going up. If you buy a product today from one of the companies that hasn't yet raised their prices, you would also be locking in historic low rates. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.